A composable is a mix-in that works with the Composition API. They allow us to use sections of code across multiple components. Composables are also known as hooks or composition functions. These functions are regular JavaScript files that may contain any view composition method, like ref or computed. For this lesson's examples, you'll need a basic view app. As an aside, you can grab the code examples in the written version of this lesson, linked in the description below. Now, let's say we have a click counter component that tracks a counter based on the number of clicks on a button. We also have a hover counter component that tracks a counter based on the number of times an element was hovered over. In the root app component, we have an instance of both in the template. If we run the example, the counter increases when we interact with the elements. The problem is that we're duplicating code. Both components have the same script section. A composable allows us to define a method with the tracking code in an external file, then import and use it in both counter components. As we mentioned earlier, a composable is just a JavaScript file with a function. We export that function so we can use it around the application. Composables can use any composition method, but we have to import them. This remains true even if we already import the same methods in a component that uses that composable. A naming convention is to prefix the name with use. For example, a counter composable would be called use counter. For our example, we've created a composable called counter. Inside it, we have a use counter function with the same logic we had in the two components. To use our composable, we import it, store the returned value, and then return the stored values from setup. To demonstrate, let's use it in the click counter component. Then, we access the ref to render the number in the button. If we run the example and click on the button, the counter will still work as expected. Another option is to destructure our object. This will create separate constants for each thing we return from the composable. As an example, let's use the composable in our hover counter, but destructure the return values. We have to take care to destructure them in the same order they were returned from the composable. In our case, the composable returned the count ref first, then the increment method. If we run the example and hover over the element in the browser, it works as expected. Because a composable is just a regular function, we can accept parameters for it. This can be useful when we need to pass data to it, like props. As an example, let's add an increment by parameter to our composable that allows us to specify a custom number we want to increment the counter with. In the hover counter component where we invoke the composable, we'll add 3 as an argument. If we head over to the browser and hover over the element, the counter increments by 3. In the case of props, we just pass the props value as an argument. In the click counter component, we still have to tell view which ones to expect by specifying them in the props option array. Then we use the props parameter in the setup method to be able to access the props we receive. If we run the example and click on the button, the counter will increment by 10. All right, that's it for the composition API. In the next lesson, we'll learn Vite and the new scaffolding tool. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.